Good morning and welcome to the morning show. How are you? Good. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Most of the political signs are uh, down off the street. Bye. Bye. And uh, time for school. I know. You got like a week. You know that, right? Let me ask you this. So you have a seventh grader and ninth grader. I have an eighth grader, so I don't have any responsibilities other than the first day of school. So you've got like a double orientation. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I got all the things. I've got all the things, but I'm going to okay. be fine. It's going to be great. Yeah. We've got the uniforms. We've got them uh, altered. Yes. We've got Crew and Technical School Supply Shopping Perfect. yesterday. We've got the gazelles. What are the gazelles? Right? Is that what they're called? The Adidas gazelles. Oh, gosh. Yep. Got everything is done. Yeah, the shoes. The shoes are always a big deal. I blame you for the shoes being such a big deal no, in the my whole girl's world, life. The whole world took over the shoes. Remember that? I don't that? care that much about shoes. I think you should because it's like 90% of you know, your outfit. No, no? it's like 10% of well, my Well, for me, I love the shoes. But yeah, okay. we went shoe shopping yesterday and mm. for us, it was the, we had to get the 270s. I don't know what that is. You've had them in your family before, Nike, just some Nike shoes. Oh, okay. So yeah, we went to Dick's Sporting Goods. They have literally every color Stanley you could ever want there. And print. I, were yes. you with the ones in, in Ann Arbor? Yes, ma'am. I was there yesterday, too. I was there Saturday. Oh, okay. I was there yesterday. Yeah, I was there Saturday. They have every Stanley there is. They have a Stanley section. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I saw that. Like, oh, you're into tie-dye? We got a tie-dye one. Perfect. You're into yeah. ballerinas? Mm-hmm. Check. The Holly family might have done a little lid switcheroo, and people are talking about it on TikTok, but listen, Ooh. we've given those Stanley folks plenty of money. So you're part of the problem. What'd you do this weekend? <laughs> <laughs> So you, uh, yeah, what did you do? What didn't I do? I know, you were at a horse farm or something? Well, I kicked off the weekend by going, well, we'll start with Claire. Yeah, let's see. Claire had our Cowgirl Challenge. This is an annual event in Nashville, Michigan. Did you know there was a Nashville, Michigan? I do now. You do. It is about a half hour north of Battle Creek, uh, God's Country. Um, Claire and her team from Kicking Up Dust, that's her trainer just there with her dog and her I'd baby. Like, I mean, this is a family affair, man. A half hour north of Battle Creek is not God's Country. <laughs> and you know that. Well, it's Nashville, Michigan. Okay, fine. Okay. Uh, all day, like, we get there. The shoes got, like, ne or the, the horse has neon green shoes. Well, it was supposed to have leopard print shoes that did not arrive. Thank you very little to the scammer on Etsy from Southern Illinois. <laughs> but um, Claire had a ball. She sat on that horse for darn near 12 hours. What? Right? Yes. I'm not kidding. She got up, like, three times. Is she? In, is this, like, you know, the Olympics have been on, and, you know, she's... She's starting to get into that a little bit. Maybe some Get into of, it a little bit? Well, no, like maybe try to. I know she's into it, but try to like, you know, qualify for Go the Go to the Olympics. Olympics. Well, I do feel like if you're going to do something, be the best at it, right? So yeah. if you're going to ride, like just go to the Olympics. I met a girl yeah. once that was an adult, and she told me she was a gymnast. And I said, oh, like, were you in the Olympics? And she said, no. And I thought, well, that's weird. Well, why not? Did you try? Yeah. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Speaking of Olympics. Speaking of Olympics. Yes. Who's this? This is this. Kristen Faulkner, okay. okay? One of the craziest stories of the entire Olympic Games. Grew up in Alaska, rode at Harvard, moved to New York City after school, started, a, started working for a venture capital uh, firm, mm -hmm. took a beginner's class in Central Park and started cycling at 5 a.m. before work, started competing in local tournaments, quit her job, moved to California to be a full-time cyclist, Jeez. and was added to the U.S. road cycling roster one month before the Olympic Games. Crazy. And look at her. What's around her neck? That's a gold. That is a gold, baby, so it is never too late. Get up and go do it. I'm going to start working out. For what sport? What? I mean, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> LA uh, 2028. Any suggestions? <laughs> Uh, whatever it is, something in the master's division. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, well, you can't do breaking because that sport will no longer be an Olympic sport, which it never should have been. I mean, and I understand that this Australian uh, female break dancer is taking a lot of criticism. In my opinion, she should be taking the criticism. In my opinion, the Olympics should be taking the criticism because this should have never yeah. been now, a thing. Now, this is an athlete right here, Katie Ledecky. So. Um, I'm going to ask you a question, and you can see the question. This is my favorite athlete from the games, was uh, swimmer Katie Ledecky. Uh, who was your favorite athlete? I just told you. So she was your favorite athlete? Yes. Okay. Do you know who my favorite participant was? Snoop Dogg. Yes! Yeah, for yes! sure. Yes! It's like you read my mind. Yeah, for sure, Snoop. So 
Completely irrelevant, completely not. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I will say there may have been a few too many celebrities covering the Olympics, like maybe yeah. more athletes that could educate me on what was actually happening. Sure. But I felt like Snoop Dogg just brought it he home. He was great. Man. He was great. And NBC paid him a half a million dollars a day. And they. Uh, oh, I think they underpaid him. I think they underpaid him as well. So. Yeah. And he made it back to LA yesterday Perfect. for the kickoff. Yeah. And you, you're thinking you might go. Yeah, maybe I want to try and find a way, right? You've got family out there. You can yeah. get out there. So I want to try and do that. Well, um, what, I would do love we have to. a medal count? Uh, I don't know if we have a medal count, but the United States won. We don't have the medal count handy. Okay. Um, so let me get back to some crazy stuff that I did this weekend. I got to tell you about, I've told you about this ice cream place. So yesterday was Stephanie and I's 17th anniversary. Oh, so we happy anniversary. Thank you. We celebrated Saturday okay. with Ella. We went to Black Pearl. I know you like that oh, place. I, like Black I had Pearl. the best steak. Yeah? There. It was so good. Nice. But they had the streets closed for things. So it was, uh, it was, it was awesome. Is it a social district now? I don't know. Okay. I don't know anyway. what it was, but it was very busy. And then uh, we went to this ice cream place called Milk and Froth. Ooh. And I cannot have dairy, as you know. But you love milkshakes. Right. This has vegan ice cream. It tastes better than regular ice Shut cream. Shut up. I swear. It's unbelievable. Milk We've and Froth? We've been there twice now. Yeah, I believe their original is in Eastern Market, but they have one on Main Street in Amherst. Okay. So, uh, highly recommend that. Nice. We went to uh, Briarwood. Briarwood's starting to... Yes. Yeah, starting to crumble. I am just grateful that I'm probably going to say it wrong, but Von Moore is still there. Say it again. Von Maurer? Maurer? Yeah, Von Maurer is still there. Yeah, it is still there. That's a great store. It's great, a great customer service. It's a great women's oh. and men's store. Yeah. Also, it has one of the nicest men's public bathrooms in the state. The women's? Well, they have a lounge. It's a lounge. I know. I took Ella up there the other day because. Yeah. It's amazing. I used to like nurse in the lounge if i was shopping and i would go up there and nurse um but they also have free alterations did you know that no I didn't right know there that. on site i didn't know that anyway. um anyways all right let's get to uh some drama we have some foot drama uh you went to the fair and uh my first thought was uh that's cool you went to the fair but then you ended up at um so ooh. these are my nephews and and some extra friends so and your daughters Qu yeah. yeah quinny and uh katie i told to like stand together because they look like twins and then I made them look like a couple. You so did. they're going to be mortified that they I are this going picture. To but be. you know, look how fun and colorful and great the fair is, right? Yeah. No. What Actually, the fair was fine. Oh. This is what happened. Well, here's my question. Two questions. Is that your foot? Yes. Question two is what the hell are those shoes? Um, They're gorgeous. Really? Uh, Really? You like them? Uh, yeah, I like them. Okay, so what happened? I, you know, I don't need to start my day this way. Just tell me what happened. I fell in fair sludge. You fell? I fell. All the my way down? My phone went flying. My pride went flying. All the way my down. My sister peed her pants because she saw the whole thing. Where at? I, you know what? I just can't even right now. <laughs> but it was so bad, Andy. Like, I walked it off, right? Just deep yeah, breaths, walk it right. off, walk it off, walk it off. I was fine until I was not fine. Right. And the next day, the pain was so bad, I kept breaking out in cold sweats. Seriously? Yes. So I went to IEP, who, I got to tell you, they rock it out. Ran into Bart, I'm sure. I'm sitting there, <laughs> and somebody says, aren't you on TV? Uh. And I look up, and it's Bart. And he was great. Unfortunately, <laughs> we were both at IEP. But thank right. God for IEP. And do you know that they do physicals for $25 walk-in? Oh, yeah, I did know that. Yeah. So they were, a little bit, they were a little busy. The girls there were amazing. Yeah. They gave me a shot in my butt that made me feel so much better. You got a shot in your butt yes. because of that foot deal? Andy, I am not kidding you. It, I don't know what was worse, what the did they, size of it or the actual What pain. did they say was the result? Or is it a, was it a sprain, a strain? Did you tear well, a ligament? Well, it was not a fracture. Look at the swelling on that thing. Well, look, I've got freaking cankles through the ace bandage. God, so it was just a really bad sprain, and I'm fine now. Okay. It's still a little, it looks like I have two ankles today. You're able to wear heels? Oh, am I breathing? You know, okay. if I'd had heels on, that would have never happened, right. by the way. Well, we, the guys upstairs are asking for a live shot. We want to see if the, Of my cankle? Yeah, we want to see if the cankle's oh, going on. Are we really doing this? We don't have to. Mm, 
I don't know. Yeah, let's not do it. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> we, gotta yeah, yeah. we got to move yeah, on. Yeah, we've let's, got more important things yeah, to talk let's, about. Uh, There's let's, a job fair going on today. Let's not get carried away. There is a job fair. It is at the Jackson Area Transportation Authority Transfer Center, and that'll be going on today. And uh, you can just stop in 10 to 3, meet the team, and uh, interview for a job while you are there. You know, if I could work with anybody other than you, it would probably be John O'Dowd. Pat? Or Pat. Pat not, I love J.O.D. I do work with J.O.D. all the time. I mean, it would be Pat that I would, really? if I didn't have you. Okay. Well, that's very nice of you to Which, say. Which, fortunately, I do. But my backup would be Pat. That dude is funny. Can he you imagine going funny. to the jet and working with him every day? No. I certainly <laughs> cannot. I certainly can't. It's time now for our sponsor of the day, and we would like to thank the Jackson School of the Arts right here downtown, established in 2001. They have great programs and uh, events going on. You can visit their website or check out their social media. Thank you to Jackson School of the Arts. Love them. Let's take a look outside to see what it looks like on our hometown heating, cooling, and more sky cam. Gorgeous. Very, very nice. Very little nice. cool though, little nip in the air. It huh? is. Yeah, yeah, it was in the 60s. We're getting ready for ball football and things like that. Are you ready to do the thing where you drop your kids off at the football game and pick them up a couple hours later? Sure am. Yeah. Because it's amazing. A little free time. Um, but I warned the girls. I said it's going to be nice and cool this last week and then next week yeah. it, the, it's going to be hot. Is it? I mean, it just seems it like always. that's what happens. Yeah. Guess what I had for breakfast really quick. I oh, what did you. you have for breakfast? Daily grind, because yeah. they're open on Mondays now, which makes the whole week better. Avocado toast. Really? It's fantastic. Very and good. And yes, you can eat avocado toast in the car and not get any on you. I was going to say, did you, uh, you have a, uh, a eating towel you throw on, don't you? I should just wear a bib all An day. An eating towel? My dad has a uh, lap towel that he uses. Does he? Yeah. Yep, in the car. Yeah? You should get a lap towel. What about, he's not as worried about up here? No. Nope. he has his lap? Yep. That's funny. Yep. Hey, on uh, Saturday, Dalham had a great event. They had their Birds, Blooms, and Butterflies, and it was packed at Dalham. Did what you go, Brandon? I was there. How was He it? was there. Joe Hawley was, was there. Cool. Yeah. yeah. What is that? Is, you could pet. Now, is that a uh, hawk, or what is that? Uh, the one owl? One is, That's not an owl. It's a it hawk. hawk. It is a hawk. I, a hawk, an owl, and a bald eagle. I love hawks. Yeah? Yeah, I love them. What's your favorite bird? Um, the Columbia Central Golden Eagle. <laughs> oh, God, no. Cancel. Yeah, can you believe that? Is that Brandon holding it? That's not Brandon. He wouldn't dare, but um, yeah, they're fine. It's cool. Yeah, and there's the beautiful butterflies. Have you ever caught a butterfly? Oh, God, yes. I'd never have caught a butterfly. What? Nope, never been You didn't able have to. a butterfly net when you were a child? I did, but I never caught one. Turtles. Never, never caught one. Hey, wait, one real quick. What was your favorite memory of the Olympics this year? It was the 400 meter, uh, the men's 400 meter run. Did you run the 400? I did, but not like that guy. Did you ever want to be in the Olympics? <laughs> yeah, of course. Who there's didn't? only one right answer. Yeah, there's only one right answer. <laughs> uh, of course I did. Uh, Sandhill Crane, had they had a cool event, Run Through the Vines. Aww. And that, uh, that was happening That looks on gorgeous. Saturday. It was a busy Saturday in Jackson County. Yeah, it's a cool race. They've done that for a few years now. And um, yeah, full photo gallery on our website. I think this event is partnered with the Ann Arbor Running Company. So nice. very cool. Hey, the Jackson YMCA has great construction specials. Yes. And uh, I drove by there the other day. It looks beautiful. It's you can right see along. all the new glass on the front. Zero dollar join fees and $100 off when you buy an annual membership. Hey, guess who the new title sponsor of High School Sports on JTV is? Who is it? Minuteman Sewer Woo! and Drain. So Yay! we are very excited. Minuteman Sewer and Drain helping us bring you our 25th season of high school sports. Guess what other small communities have television stations that cover local sports? Zero. Guess how many national, like big cities, have uh, TV stations that cover their many. high school sports? Zero. Yeah, no, You're very it. cool. You're it, babe. Yeah, very cool. And thank you to all of our uh, sponsors uh, for helping us bring you high school sports and, of course, our great staff who work uh, nonstop getting yes. this stuff on the air. So, so Brooklyn, my hometown. Yeah, there was some. Hopping. Yes, Brooklyn. Oh, it's, yeah, we've got a race. It's happening. That's right. It's happening. We've got the Cabo Wabo, Cabo Wabo 250 coming to town as part of uh, 
MIS's race weekend, home of the bold, unquestionably Mexican tequila with an undeniably American attitude. So I feel really confident. You said it wasn't true, but I think Sammy Hagar started Cabo Wabo. Potentially, yes. Tequila. I do know that they um, their owned um, I think by a large group now, but yeah. yeah. So MIS should be a uh, great weekend. Of course, the Firekeepers Casino 400, August 16th through 18th. There will also be the Henry Ford Health 200. We're going to be giving away tickets to the Firekeepers Casino 400 on our Facebook page oh. later today. So check that out. Do we have any press passes for that event? Why, do you want to go down there and I don't. talk to the drivers? I'd like to go in a capacity different than I've gone in the past. Yeah? I mean, I did work security there. Seriously? Oh, yeah. Security? Oh, yeah. I'm sure. They'll let anyone work there. You know, I did go to Grand River last night. Oh, how would you get? I got the Reuben. Oh, it was very good. So good. It was very good. Yes. Were you so full? I was so full, and then I ate outside, and then Brandon, guess what we did? What? Stopped at KB Cobb on the way home because you know Shorty's got those um, Fruity Pebble things. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, Fruity Pebble what? Better. Like Fruity Pebble Rice Krispie Treats. Have you ever had these? No. Serious? Not there. Oh my gosh, they're phenomenal. That was your dessert? Oh yeah. You ate that after the Reuben? I ate it in bed. <laughs> yeah, are you kidding me? Yeah. That seems about right. I ate two of them. They're <laughs> unbelievable. If you've never had one, you should try it. Our show today is brought to you by Vermeulen's Home Furnishings, now in their third generation of being family owned and operated. Third. Thank you to Vermeulen's. We'd also like to thank Jackson Catholic Schools. Visit jacksoncatholicschools.com. Org. And before we get started, I want to tell you that the Michigan Department of Corrections is hiring right here, right now. But you got to be a little tougher than Jen was at the fair. I'm going to tell you that right now. Oh, come on. Uh, great pay and benefits, immediate openings, and paid training. Visit michigan.gov slash M-D-O-C jobs today. Um, last few weekends on the lake, what you guys, uh, you guys getting out on the water every and stuff second, like that? Yeah. Every second that we can. We even had a, you know, you're not supposed to go out when the sun starts to go down. Yeah, but there's no cops out there. Uh, no, we just had to do a, a quickie. Hamilton, who you met last week, um, was here. He's actually leaving this morning. So these are three of my nephews doing a little sunset tube out there. I think that was Friday night. Just trying to get in every last second. I highly recommend it. Very cool. And yes. um, next time you see Hamilton, please tell him I said hello. Aw, he, uh, he is, uh, I think he's my favorite family member you have. I, I yeah? really enjoy Hamilton. Ruthie will not be upset. Well, all. Ruthie's number one. She's number one. Hamilton's. Those are fighting words. Hamilton's number two. Number two. All right. Hi, Ruthie. Uh, we've got a wonderful show. We do. You let's, ready to do it? Let's do We're it. talking back to school stuff already. We have Melissa Bradfield, who is the principal at Vandercook Lake Middle School and High School, and also the interim superintendent, and we will be joined by her right after this break.